Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft Stacks on Stacks. I hope you're all having an amazing day. If you're new here and don't know what Stacks on Stacks is, it's a challenge I made myself that requires me to collect a double chest of every item in the game. No cheating allowed, of course. The next item, the Enchanted Book Loyalty 2. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more awesome videos. I'm probably live on YouTube right now. With all that out of the way, let's begin Loyalty 2 Minecraft Stacks on Stacks. Started with getting some wood, as all Minecrafters do. I'm starting construction on a library, and a bit of warning, I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of wanted it all pink, including the windows. It just felt right. The first level is closed off now, and the floor still needs work, but I should really work on a bedroom. Check out how these trees grew up. Pretty weird. Finally put in lecterns. Can't be a library without librarians. This is the beginning of a weird trend. And now I'm starting construction on proper farming huts. And I actually could have died doing this. Thank goodness for my totem. I don't know about you, but I love how it turned out. Feels right. New building, what's this one gonna be? An archery, that's what it's gonna be. And of course you gotta have strange men working in your building. It's only customary. I'm proud of myself. My village is looking amazing. I didn't know exactly how I should have the loyalty to book shown, so I just used a renamed book. That's all I did on the first stream, just trying to get the villagers to spread out more. The second stream was much of the same thing, getting the villagers to breed and spread out to the lecterns. If I'm completing this challenge, I'm gonna do it the easy way. Took out some more trees. I don't know why I planted so much, probably because it was funny. And then started planting dark oak trees. Sure, it's counterproductive, but variety is important. I'm planning on making a church for my enchanting and clerics. I don't know about you guys, but this mix is kind of really cool looking. And now I'm in the stronghold. But why? Because all of these books are my property. I'm just now moving them back to my place. I went to both libraries too. Might as well stock up for future endeavors. And now I'm starting construction on the church. It's gonna be beautiful. You can already tell I don't like this first design. It's all uneven and gross and I hate it. I tried shaking it, but I don't like a single door house unless it's small and it's way too long and narrow. Now it looks more like a shoe, it's so small. Back to the library, I decided the floor should be made out of carpet. Just feels right. I'm also adding bookshelves to really liven it up. Finally got a villager in the library, now it's time to get the book. Didn't take too long and it's the exact one I wanted. Didn't waste any time getting them locked in. Back at the farm, I put in wheat and beetroot seed for more variety. I know they suck, but this is supposed to be my village, not yours. That's all for this stream. You can probably guess how the next one goes. Stop guessing, it's the next one. Cyanide? Obviously destroyed the shoe, it wasn't taking me anywhere. I'm already loving the new design, and the old floor could come of use. Ran out of smooth blackstone and the stuff to make it, so I'm breaking bad with the bastion again. Thought it would be a better idea to go from the bottom up, but I had to fill the lava pool in the middle. But I got it all done and and now I won't burn to death. Oh wait, never mind. Still dangerous. Alrighty, back home. Hopefully it'll be enough to finish it all. What do you guys think? I didn't want to seem one-sided, so I made two. The bottom left is going to be for clerics, so it's only fitting to have the church area on the top left. Oh yeah, this is turning out beautifully. Of course I designed the circular window. What else am I going to do? Leave it open? And now the church is complete. Villagers can move in whenever. Might do some crazy stuff with the enchant room, but for now, I'll leave it as it is. Reopen the old wall village, only for carrying the loyalty to villager though. Look at that dent from 29 to 40. Four emeralds! I could barely contain myself. Grabbed as many as I could, a time to grind for more emeralds. Luckily, I only had to get 54 of them, exactly 216 emeralds, and I know a good place that'll get me dough for wood. You're all by yourself in this lonely world. I'll save you the trouble of 20 minutes. I tried getting a guy to lower his trades, but turns out you can only do it once. Thanks, Minecraft. This loyalty villager is crazy. Mending, mending. for one emerald mending. in his second trade. I don't really even need mending anymore, but hey, I'm not complaining. One six of the way there, and yeah, all I do is woodworking and trading. Also, why isn't there a lumberjack villager? Not only would he be extremely useful, but we already have a job site for one. The crafting table. Born to repair, urged to summon a man who can two-shot me in the best armor in the game. Finished repairing, decided to get the rest of the wood in the jungle. And here we are, one double chest of loyalty to enchant books and obviously before I end the video I gotta show off the next item <laughs> he's something bad brewer party shirt hopefully it won't be too bad and I also hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to subscribe I'm live here on YouTube every Saturday and Sunday 4 p.m. EST so make sure to hit the notification bell too Saturdays are designated for normal gameplay while Sundays are for stacks and stacks I really enjoy making the series a lot and hope to complete a lot of the hard stuff early so it's easy sailing when getting closer to the end goal which is probably never as long as Minecraft keeps updating is as long as I'll keep doing Minecraft stacks and stacks anyways thank you very much for watching and until next time goodbye